Okay, so question six. We've got a use of Laplace transforms to solve this differential equation. And the initial equations are y naught equals naught and y dash naught equals naught. So the first thing to do is to write down this initial condition, write down this differential equation, y dash dash minus 4y dash plus 4y equals t cubed e to the 2t. So we have y dash dash minus 4y dash plus 4y equals t cubed e to the 2t. And we want a Laplace transform on both sides, so we just do that. And then the Laplace transform went back in the end. Algebraically solve it, Laplace went back in the end. Okay, so the Laplace transform is linear, so this left hand side becomes the Laplace transform of y dash dash minus 4 times the Laplace transform of y dash plus 4 times the Laplace transform of y. And now the right hand side, I there's nothing I can do yes without looking at the table. Also, the left hand side, we still need to look at the table for the. For Let's go to the table for the right-hand side. So you have plus one of t cubed e to the 2t. So where's that on the table? Okay, here, this this one here is, you can, if we had, we had like t cubed times e to the 2t. So that's like that. If we're saying that our f of t is t cubed, then we'd be saying that the big F, the class transform of it would be f, of s minus 2. Okay, what is big F though? Well, actually, yes. So we can just put this in, f of s minus 2. f of s minus 2, okay. Um, and we're just saying that f of t is t cubed. Okay. Uh, and let's carry on transforming this. So we have f of s minus 2. We're going to work out that out just now. Let's go back to this, the left-hand side now. No, I can't remember this, this, this right-hand. No, I'm going to, yeah, this left-hand side. I mean, the left-hand side is going to be f of s minus 2, but what is... Yeah, let's do the right-hand side. We have f of s minus 2, and we've said that our f of t is t cubed. So here's our f of t. f of t equals t cubed. So the n is, the n is um, 3 in this thing. So we have 3 factorial, transforms to 3 factorial over s to the 4. That's what our f of s is. Okay, so that means that f of s, f of s minus two will then be three factorial over s minus two to the four, right? Okay, so that's what the right hand side is going to become. Meanwhile, you know, the left hand side we had these derivatives. We had y dash dash. That's this last line here it tells you about what to do with derivatives, and so that transforms to s and n is two, and then not f now, we're using y for this now, so big Y means the Laplace transform of y, of little y, minus now s2 minus 1, y of naught, um, minus, oh, but y of naught is just 0, and so is y dash of naught, so, so these all these terms are always going to go to 0. Okay, so we just have that, and then y dash transforms to s, y of s, and then the other terms are 0 in this case, Okay, that's all. So, we end up with s squared y of s minus 4 times s y of s s y of s plus 4 times y of s and then here we had what we had it was 3 factorial over s minus 2 to the 4. And the reason it ended this left hand side was so simple was because um, y naught equals naught and y dash naught equals naught. I just want to put this in because I want to make it clear where, we use, where I use the initial condition additions. Okay, so now we can factorize out the y of s, okay, we 
Now, can we factorize this polynomial? It's going to be what? S. So that's minus 2 squared, isn't it? Yes, that's minus 2 squared. Okay. Okay, so that means that we can divide throughout by s minus 2, and this whole thing becomes 3 factorial over s minus 2 to the 6. Okay, so now we need to do the inverse Laplace transform to get back what y is. So we have 3 factorial over s minus 2 to the 6. Which of the Laplace transforms does that look like? s minus 2 to the 6 got 3 factorial over s minus 2 to the 6. Nothing. It's something shifted, isn't it? So that was s minus 2. We shifted, so it's not that's right. We're going to shift back. Okay, so we have, what we're looking at is like 3 factorial over s minus 2 to the 6. Okay. We should, we should call that, um, we give it a new name. We should call that g of s minus 2. So that g of s equals 3 factorial over s to the 6. Because then we can transform g of s, because here we can use this one, where, or not quite that one, actually, because um, we have s to the 6, but there's not a, if we have a 6, s to the 6, we, we'd actually like a, on the top we would want a 5 factorial. So we have a 5 factorial over s to the 6, and so we're going to get that 5 factorial into the 3 factorial, we're going to have to divide by... 5 times 4, which is 20. So 1 over 20. Okay. So now, if you transform, inverse transform uh, this uh, 5 factorial, 5 factorial s to 6, you get t to the 5. So we have g of s being. So that means that g of t, little g of t, the inverse Laplace transform is 1 over 20 times because there's that little constant factor of 1 over 20, and these things are linear, a t to the 5, OK? But we don't actually want to transform g of s. We want to transform g of s minus 2. So we have to use this thing here. So if we transform g of s minus 2, we get an extra factor of e to the 2t out. So we're going to end up with actually getting e, e to the 2t 1 over 20, t to the 5, times e to the 2t. That is the inverse Laplace transform of 3 factorial s minus 2 to the 6. Okay. So let's let's write that out. Let's like start the working out at least. So this is the same as 1 over 20 times 5 factorial s minus 2 to the 6. Okay which is the same as 1 over 20 times big G of s minus 2, where G of s equals 5 factorial over s minus 2 to the 6. This is ripe for confusing s's and 5's. So be careful with that. OK, so if G of s equals 5 factorial over s, minus 2, then this thing becomes 1 over 20, and then remember it's e to the 2t, then little g of t, which is of course the Laplace transform of inverse Laplace transform of g of s, so it's, uh, it's not equal to that, the Laplace transform is equal to that, sorry, so this means that y of t, so I'm just calling it y, is 1 over 20, and this plus from g of s minus 2 is you do e to the 2t, and then you do g of t. But g of t is t to the 5. What was it, 6? can't remember what it looks like. The bottom is n plus 1. Yeah, top is the n factorial, so it's t to the 5. 1 over 20. Uh, e to the 2t times by t to the 5. That's what y is. Okay.
Uh, I just prefer writing it like this way around t to the 5, e to the 2t. Okay. That's apparently what y is. So this y is our final answer, but we need to check that it really does solve the differential equation we were given. So the differential equation was, up here was, y dash dash minus 4y plus 4y dash plus 4y equals t cube e to the 2t. So let's check this by going, we've got y there. What is y dash? So y dash, y dash would be 5 over 20, which is a quarter, t to the 4, e to the 2t, plus 2 over 20, which is a tenth, t to the 5, e to the 2t. So then y dash dash, y dash dash, second derivative, would be 4 over 4, which is, which is 1. Ooh, this is where the t cubed thing comes from, yay. t cubed e to the 2t uh, plus... 2 over 4 is a half, t to the 4, e to the 2t, plus a 5 over 10, which is a half, t to the 4, e to the 2t, um, plus 2 over 10, which is a fifth, t over 5, e to the 2t. Then it's not, it's actually, it's actually it was y dash dash minus 4 times y dash, plus 4 times y. Sorry. Um, let me just write it. Yeah. It was, we had, it was y dash dash, the equation was y dash dash minus 4y dash plus 4 times y, so 4 times y would be 4 over 20, which is uh, a fifth t to the 5, e to the 2t, that's what, that's 4y. So do the same times y minus 4 here. So instead of a quarter, we have minus 1. Instead of 1 over, t 1 over 10, we have minus 4 over 10. Now I need to add all these up and see if it comes to the right answer. So there's only one t cubed term. But that's that, and that is what the right-hand side is meant to be. t to the 4 terms, we have a half plus a half. So we have 1 minus 1. Those go away. Good. T, t to the five terms. So we have a fifth plus a fifth minus four over ten. Four over ten is two fifths. So those go away. Yes. So this is correct. Uh, so I'm just correct. So we. This is just rough work checking it. Don't need it. And the final answer. is that. So we took the equation of the plus transform on both sides, looked stuff up in the table to do it, simplified it, got everything in terms of the big Y, and then the plus, inverse the plus transform things back to get the final answer, which we checked, and it's right.